Have you ever dreamt of having your own DIY candle, but you have no wax to make it and no wicks? Well, this is the perfect DIY for you. This DIY will be made of crayons, and the wicks, well, that's a new surprise. If you, you want to make candles, then keep watching. You will need two Crayola packets, one bowl, it doesn't matter if it's plastic or glass, a pair of scissors. Okay, so in your bowl, I want you to empty both your crayon packets. And just scatter them around. And make sure they're flat down. Okay, now I want you to take each crayon piece and remove all the paper from it. can be a little difficult at times because Crayola, like the wrappers, they're stuck on with glue. So just keep trying your best and if you want you can use scissors because we're going to cut them up anyways. They don't need to be perfect. Okay. So once you're all done with your crayons, like unwrapping them, take your scissors and cut each one of them in pieces about a half inch apart. Do this for every crayon because it'll be easier to melt them since they're smaller pieces, like about this big. Now that all the Crayola crayons are cut up, take all the crayons in one color and put them in a bowl and heat them up. After the liquid is, after the Crayola crayons are melted, take a mason jar and pour the liquid in it, but make sure to keep it level so that the wax doesn't melt in a weird shape. So when you're done about two layers of your candle, take a piece of Kleenex and roll it up really thin and stick it in your candle before adding your third layer. So after you're done your candle, you'll notice that there's a lot of tissue left over. What you want to do is that you just want to dip your tissue inside the wax when it's still wet. And then just snip it wherever you want it to end. So for me, I want it quite long, that's why I dipped it really far. And then just hold it like this or pin it to the side of the jar or just do something so that it doesn't move from there so that when the wax does dry it stays in that position. This is how my final product looks and I've tested it out already it works that's why you can kind of see the burnt top a little bit because it's tissue paper right so it burns and this part is optional but if you want you can spray paint your um, mason jar. I'm gonna do it and basically just spray paint it any way you want. And I recommend doing this in an outside area, but if you can't, that's fine. So I'll show you my final product in a second. Okay, so after one night of leaving my candle to dry, a night and half about about half a day so that the spray paint can completely dry it basically just looks the same on the inside it's all green and don't worry about this because as the candle um, melts like it gradually melts the inside will change colors and it actually looks pretty cool when you light it so in a second I'm going to show you how it looks how the, the light on the inside affects the outside and everything with the spray paint that I used. So, yeah. So there's how I made mine look. All like, it's pretty messy, but I like it that way. So what I basically did was that I spray painted the entire thing, the entire bottle, up here, red. And then the top, the rim, was supposed to be yellow, but then... 
the paint started dripping and that really made a nice effect. I was counting on it dripping. And then I just took my green spray paint and then I just put dots everywhere. And they're fairly sp small except for here. And I basically just wanted them to look like eyes. So then later on I can take a black sharpie marker and draw a smile here or something. But yeah, that's basically it. And then the bottom two. Because you can't just have a clear bottom, right? That's just weird. Okay, so I'll be back in a second with the light. Okay, so I'm going to light it now. So it'll read up, lit up pretty quickly. And you can see that. I'm not sure if you can or not. But it's like it actually glows on the inside. And my Crayola, it goes up to here. So it's pretty opaque there. But on the top, it's really, like, see-through, sort of. Because spray paint, it's not thick, right? So it doesn't it doesn't go opaque. You can still see it, and you can still feel the heat. And on the inside, that's how it looks when you um, light it up. So those red dots are not spray paint. Those are actually my Crayola markers. I mean, crowns. So, yeah, that's basically it. And I'm not sure if you could see this or not, but there's actually, like, you can actually see the flame reflecting off of the yellow. And it looks pretty cool from here. It's like it's moving all proper and everything. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. So if you want to see more videos like this, I suggest subscribing. Otherwise, you can just come in and look at the videos whenever you want. But if you do subscribe, then it'll be really nice for us because we're going to get inspiration to do more videos like this. And um, yeah, so if you like the video, then go ahead and click the like button and everything. So yeah.